All right, Shalomah. First off, we want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders. Shalomah, to I came out there, preaching his word, truth, sincerity. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Baha, Kadash, Rakak, Barak, and Thumb. We just want to do a brief and transit lesson and just go through the spirit and bring out a few precepts. That's right. This um, is 2 Chronicles 36 and 15. And the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, power of their fathers, uh, sent to them by his messengers, rising up beat times and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. Verse 16, but they, but they mock the messengers of the Most High. And that's what that's what people do to us every, every time we're out there on the highways and byways. Like the Lord sent, He sent His men out there to preach His word and to wake up our people. And you know we're doing what we're supposed to do on our end. You know, going out there telling our people, "Hey, to get right. You know, destruction is headed your way. You know, the Lord's on His way to return." And they mock us. You know, of course you expect the heathens to mock, but our people who are actually for they mock us. You know, two thirds of our people, just like when the Lord was uh, was here. You know. Our people, they was mocking the Lord. When he was getting crucified, put to death, and put ashamed and everything, our people was scoffing. Yeah. Just like they do now. They they basically, if they, they hate if they hated the Lord, how much us? You know, the, everything they did to the Lord, how much more us? Yeah. Because we, uh, we have the word of the Lord, you know? We have the um, the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is what? The spirit of prophecy. And, and, and really, we have the spirit of Yahweh. Yahweh Shai upon us and, and within us We have the light Which is the light is Yahweh Shai And that's why they hate us It's not us they hate per se Really because if we went into the world We did the shit that they did We've been niggas we've been demonic Alright we've been wicked They'll accept us It'll be bygones be bygones Oh man you Man you man I knew you was it was something about you man I always like They would have been cool with it because why Misery loves company You know Same Hey man these, these demons want us to be destroyed You know They want to knock us off our course Through their Through their uh, Their lord Their uh, uh, Power Satan You know Okay It says uh, But they mock the messengers of the most high And despise his words And misuse his prophets Unto the wrath of the lord Yahweh arose against his people till there was no remedy yeah and they basically that's what they you can read the, a little bit up again or just start from the top okay okay this is uh second chronicles 36 and 15 and the lord yahweh power of their fathers sent to them by his messengers I i'm in from that scripture you was yeah i'm gonna just go in, yeah, go into go. it so it's, you know i already started uh sent to them by his messengers rising up be times and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place but they mocked the messengers of the most high and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the lord yahweh arose against his people till there was no remedy yeah they despised the most high and mocked his words until that destruction came on them, man the lord and there was no remedy so there's no no escape from that once you get judged for all for continuing to want to do with it, wickedness instead of repenting when you get the when the lord sends that judgment on you it's not going to be no remedy to it. it's no cure like if you had a, a, a certain sickness or something you tried to take you know, medicine or herbs to fix it and it doesn't help it's, it's going to be no 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 cure no way out no way to escape the judgment that's coming upon you because the choices you made it's the choices you made And you're going to have to deal with that In the time of judgment That's right, right. It's it Like um, like the like the brother was saying Like like the scriptures say Every outer word You're going to have to give account for it. And, and what? Blasphemy of the Holy uh, the Holy Spirit, man Every sin shall be forgiven But what? Blasphemy of the, of the Holy Spirit So you being a scoffer You know You making mockery Hey, man well, matter of fact, can I play this out, Bob Kishaw? You, this show platform, you know, I'm going to just bring out the, <laughs> you know, Jake, man. I'm going to just bring out the precept, man. This is one of my favorite precepts, man. 
Cause Jake, hey man, I'm all about I'm all about revenge. All right, cause the Lord is going to what? He's all about vengeance. All right, the vengeance is the, is the Lord's, right? He's going to utilize what his elect to take out vengeance to get their revenge. Okay, Yahweh Shai is coming back for his revenge. All right, he's getting it in blood. The elect gonna get it in blood. All right, that's why we being patient, man. Cause we have faith. We waiting. Why? Why bug out? In, in, in attempt to get a I man, maybe if we lucky like a couple bodies, all right. And, and I include you niggas and all that, man. You nigga bitch, all you bitches, all you hoes, everybody, all right. All you wicked ass people, man. All right, we can get a couple bodies. Then what? You know? Yeah, the Lord ain't gonna be with us, man. No, man. We want to patiently wait. It makes it that much more better because. Our hatred is brewing, is brewing up for you all. We're, hey, like the scriptures say, we're uh, thy mind shall meditate upon terror. And hey, man, we're getting more, uh, um, how do you say, we're getting more uh, um, creative and, and, and thoughtful, you know what I mean? Illustrative about two people's uh, uh, torture and deaths, all right? You know? But yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me go here real fast, Baba Kasha. Um, I love this precept. Yeah, cause, cause ultimately, and, and what did the scripture say? I believe in Matthew's, um, the most shall not the most high avenge his very elect. He's gonna, he's gonna revenge us, man. It's all about revenge. All right. It's all about we about to bring it out. This is what it's all about. Okay. Uh, Galatians six and seven. Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. Because you're making mockery, man. We, we just brought out that precept. All right? You know? Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Yeah, whatever he soweth, that's what he's going to reap, all right? And you sow nothing but wickedness your whole life. So what are you going to reap for that wickedness that you sow? It's going to be judgment. Yeah. All right, because that's gonna be your reward. All right, everybody's reward. They're gonna receive the reward, reward for their works. Your mm -hmm. the works you're doing, the reward you're gonna get for that is death and destruction. The reward that we hope to get from the works we're doing is salvation. Yeah. All right, because we're doing two completely different works. You're doing works in wickedness, and we're doing works in righteousness, righteous works. All right. That's why we out here doing what we do on the highways and byways and making these these sit downs. All right, we constantly trying to abound in the faith to not go through that same judgment that two-thirds of you niggas are going to go through. All right? Because right. we already know the heathen, they're going to be destroyed regardless. Two-thirds of our people are the only are the only people that it actually matters about being destroyed because you're you're the, 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 the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's chosen people, man. Mm. But you want to choose to be a piece of shit. So you're going to, that's how you're going to be rewarded, like a piece of shit that you are. You get judged, man. That's right. It says, uh, verse 8, For he that soweth to his flesh shall the flesh reap corruption but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting yeah you're going to reap corruption because you sow into your flesh because everything in the flesh it brings nothing but corruption if we get corruption spirit all right that's why you sow corruption because you're getting corrupted by those those fleshly works that you're doing now you're just burning more in your flesh for whatever act that you're doing say if you had a money demon on you you got more into it more and more it eventually just consume you all right and it conquers your, your spirit all right, so you're gonna you're gonna sow you're gonna sow corruption because at the end goal of it, at the end of the day, it's gonna destroy you. And everybody that sows to the spirit reap life everlasting because the spirit is life, man. That's right. That's right, man. That's why we gotta continue in these works. Whoa, man. Hey, but that's the spirit. Let me continue on. That's the spirit. Verse nine. And let us not be weary in well doing. Yeah, weary in well doing. Like I was saying, we doing we're, your works are in wickedness, and our works are in righteousness. So we're not weary in our well doing because we this is doing well what we're doing right now. Anytime you're doing anything to that that to uh, to glorify Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, that's when you that's when you're doing what your righteous works, what you're supposed to do, man. And not you shouldn't get weary in doing it because it's your job. If you if you chose to work somewhere, why would it, what sense does it make to be mad at the duties you have to do? You knew the duties before you accepted that job. Yeah. 
now you're just now you're just being a bitch because you knew what you had to do, but you still wanted to take the job. Now you sitting there complaining still. Well, well, it says in the scriptures, um, you know, to him that knows to do good and do it for not. What is it? It's, it's sin. That's right. That's right. Just backing up what you're saying. That's everything you say. Hey, man, we come out the scriptures, man. All right. I'm like you, you bitch ass. You know what I mean? Soft, soft, soft made nigga, nigga woman, uh, 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 uh byproduct niggas. All right. Actually, we actually live by the scriptures. All right. We embody it to the we, to the best of our capabilities. Yeah, to the best of our ability. That's Straight why up. we can, we can, so much we can ready to quote the scriptures and we know how to live by the scriptures Ooh. because we we actually take in what we we were reading, man. We're reading. All right. Yeah. And we're by it. Yeah, we're rehearsing the righteous acts. Like the scriptures say, man. Hey, man, come on, man. This, from the apostles and elders on down, man. You, you, you people can't judge us, you niggas. You nigga bitches, you nigga women. You know what I mean? A deaf to nigga woman. How about that? Y'all can't judge us. Because what? We already examine ourselves. We judge ourselves according to the scriptures, okay? And it ultimately... We live our lives. We live our lives through the scriptures, and ultimately, to the it, 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 we apply it to the best of our capability. Cause we are in the flesh. We're men. All right. At the end of the day, you stupid nigga. You know. Ultimately, with the same hope to be of that hopeful elect to be uh, uh, delivered to have our have our transgressions be overlooked. You know what I mean? You know to be. To be covered with the blood of Yahweh Shai, man. Alright? We showing where our... Hey, man, from the Apostle and Elders on down, we're showing where our faith and our alliance and our allegiance lie. Where our life, where our lifeline is. <laughs> Come on, man. Stop playing. Y'all don't never have to question where Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gabar, alright? Apostle Ramla, Apostle uh, 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 Rakah, man. Uh, and, and, and the rest of the elders on down, man. You don't never have to question what they doing. Or where their allegiance lie. Or where you been at. You see it through their works. Through their faith. Alright? Which is what? Prophesying, man. This is the year of prophecy. Apostle Tahar named it that. Alright? The same apostle that's been pressing this thing through the Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai forward, man. Okay? With the rest of the apostles and the elders on down to the rest of the young men. That's a goddamn shame, man. Alright? You got young men, okay? Coming in this thing, man. On fire. Man. You know what I mean? Like, like, like. Just excelling in the spirit, man. Just growing quick, man. Cause what? Yeah, how about Shmi Awa Shai? Supping with those men. You know? And the most high is not dealing with you niggas, man. Alright? You got it, alright? So I can. Yeah, yeah. Um. Um. <clears throat> yep, second. Wait, what you at? Yeah, man, cause the most I gonna fucking, hey, man, the most I gonna fuck y'all niggas up, man. You, you bitches, you nigga bitches, you, you spick bitches, all right. You Latina hoes, all right. You know, you, 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 you fucking tomahawk sluts, all right. You Pocahontas bitches, fuck y'all, man, all right. All y'all are about to be judged, man, in, in multiple uh, multiple ways, man. And y'all give y'all give the men of the Lord hell, man. Let alone y'all by Shmi from for 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 the way that y'all live your uh, live your lives daily. Where really they ain't even living. You kill yourselves daily, man. All right, you know. So to hell with y'all. Hey, this is Second Corinthians five and ten. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach Yahushai that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether 
it be good or bad. And that's basically what's going to happen at the end of the day. Everybody's going to receive the judgment for the works that they've done in their flesh, whether it was good, whether it was bad. All right. So you, you, you two third niggas that choose to do wicked works, like I was saying earlier, you do works in wickedness. You're going to receive your, your judgment, man. You're going to be destroyed. All right. Whether it's by the missiles, by the nuclear fire. All right, or about it, uh, Esau torturing you, famine, whatever way y'all about him, y'all shy sees fit. You're gonna receive your judgment for the works that you did. Yeah. And then the men that like the great, the men in like in great millstone doing the works in the will of y'all about him, y'all shy, edifying the body and exhorting and building up the body. All right, edifying, which is to build up, building up the body. We're going to be the ones, the Lord willing, to receive that salvation for the works that we're doing in righteousness, man. That's what we hope. That's where our hope lies. Are right? that's where our expectation is to, for our reward and our works to be salvation. Well, let's end it up on this through the Spirit. This is um, Proverbs ten and twenty eight. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. Yeah. So the hope of the righteous is gladness because we know what we're going to receive for our works, man. All right. Because we actually in the scriptures and the scriptures that the other pro past prophets actually how shy what they will receive. So we know. All right, and then what's the wicked expect? They expect they're gonna expect their expectations are gonna perish because all you hope in is vanity and, and vain things that's gonna go away with this world. All right, you're gonna be destroyed. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, like the scriptures say, man, there's no condemnation to them that that um to them which are in uh, Mashiach Yahushai, you know. You know, in which we are in from the apostle and elders on down. All right, you know. All right. Well, we're, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it off on that since I quoted it. This is Romans eight and one. So like, yeah. This is there. Uh, there is, therefore, no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach Yahushai who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Yeah. Going back to what? Jer uh, uh, Galatians. So like, yeah. Galatians the sixth, sixth chapter. You know, them that soul to the spirit, we're gonna reap with a, uh, a life everlasting. Exactly. All right. We're doing those righteous works, giving diligence after the spirit. After the spirit of what? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh All right, because we're not gonna get our rest into the kingdom, so we're supposed to work until then. All right, and you shouldn't hate your labor's works. All right, you shouldn't you shouldn't be weary and well doing like we had brought out earlier. Yeah. All right, and if you are, then you just you're not right. Point, point, point. Period. You know that's your job. Yeah. You, you, a lazy ass motherfucker. I'm at, bro. At my, at my slavery, bro. That's the spirit. And even, even this other, this older Jake, bro. He's hella older, bro. But he got hit. At the same time, he is correct through the spirit, man. He's, he's probably like in his fifties or whatever, or forties, going on fifty. Man, he, he be moving like a young buck. All right, a young Jake. You feel me? And it's a, it's a, oh, it, man, it's a. It's a sloppy ass, lazy ass mother. Man, he ain't even he ain't even that out of shape and shit. It's a jab fight, all right. And what? His job is to clean up, man. All he do is clean up. He don't even have to work hard. He got a bitch bitch job, really. Cause a, a female, a Iskarite woman used to do his job. She got promoted. Hey man, she used to do his job way better with a smile on her face, man. She had a spirit on her. You feel me? She it was nothing to her. You feel me? And that's sad. All right, you jack fighters are fucking bitches. All right, so so yeah, man, this this motherfucker, man. Here it is. His job is to clean shit up, but he lazy. How the fuck you gonna be a lazy ass clean cleaner? That's your that's your title. So your title is to clean around the houses. Are right? you are you're whatever? Like what do you call him when he when he clean up and shit? You're um janitor. You can say janitor, but even a hotel or around the house or some shit. What do they call it? Uh. You can say a maid, but um, I want, I'm, I'm thinking about another title. At the same time, it's really just a maid, though. Basically, you, you know, you clean up. Your your job is to clean up, and you lazy. How the fuck that go together, man? You know? Just like you fucking lazy ass niggas, you sluggers, all right? And just you just you just niggas, all right? <laughs> really, just you two third niggas. You know, Jay get mad, man. At the same time. It's y'all just niggas, man. <laughs> you know what can you do about it? Other than 
condemn you niggas, all right? <laughs> Let unleash on you niggas, man. Cut you. You know what I mean? Do what we're doing now, in which brothers shouldn't be getting uh, um, 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 faint hard in it. You know what we're going to. Yeah. What you leading back to what you left off on? Yeah. You know, get uh, weary, weary and well doing. You know, we 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 get upset. You know, we get vexed. How do how do the Lord feel? Yeah, how was I ready to come back himself? You know, at the same time, we we only the only thing we can do is prophesy, maintain the faith, pray for this place to, to, to be destroyed uh, 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 sooner, hasten the day. You know, maintain be in the spirit, so you know that that we don't end up like these people. You know, what? What more? What, what, what else can you do? Go back into the world and what? You know, be a bug out. You know, get a fucking sex sex robot. You know, hey man, do some other sick shit, man. I I don't even want to elaborate on. Okay. We have no choice other than to we're we're, we're wait, man. We're prisoners of hope. Expectation. We we expect we expect good, man. All right, this is the gospel, the good news. We expect judgment to take place, man. All right, and we and we hope for mercy and salvation. You know, that's what we expect because what the Lord, the Lord's uh, 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 guaranteed that He would save a remnant. Twelve thousand out of each tribe. Uh, out of each tribe. All right. You know. All right. The same. That's that. Uh, that endure to the end. The same shall be saved. That's a. The Lord is a man of His word. So, if through the Spirit of Yahweh bash me, I will shout about this eye. We in, we endure these works and this faith to the very end, even if it, if it calls for being uh, for death, man. Hey man, we expect the Lord to save us, and you and you best goddamn believe the Lord is gonna save those men. I believe that. All right, I know the apostles believe. I, I I really have faith in that, and you see that like men, like the apostles, the elders, brothers, you see that in the works, and this this you know what I mean, brothers. That's really like putting it, you know what I mean, like laying their life on the line. Cause we this we laid our life on the line, brothers forsaken, so called. Uh, 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 opportunities in this world A lot of so-called time They can be spending with their family Their children, their women Whatever man For what for, for really matters You know Yeah So hey man uh, With that Hopefully it was edifying to you brothers You know Hey we're doing We're doing the, we're doing the right thing Alright and this thing popping off, all right? We winning, okay? All right, man, have a mentality of a winner, okay? Have confidence, all right? Which means to have faith, man, with faith. Have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Have that boldness, have that confidence towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Walk in that spirit, man. You're an Israelite, okay? We're, hey, man, we're, 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 we're up next, all right? And the spirit, hey, man, the spirit of Jake is out here is so hard, man. He saw as a cuck. He's a cave cuck. All right. He's through. Okay. Jake. Jake is the. Hey man. Jake. Jake is the wave. Right now, man. And Jake is gonna be the wave. Yeah. Jake is gonna be the wave forever, man. All right. You know. We're gonna have an everlasting kingdom. Okay. You know. Hey man. With Yahweh Shai ruling. <laughs> All right, it's going to be the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. Okay. Going on down in its proper order. King David, you know. To the go hey man. To the hey man. To the governing body of Israel, the elect. Okay, from the rest of the, uh, the apostles. On down to the elect. Okay. Which we're going to bring forth the two thirds. Being all of Israel. Which, man, it's going to be the kingdom of Israel, you know? It's going to be everlasting kingdom. We're going to have the new bodies, and the Lord is going to, he's going to place his laws and statutes in our inward 
in our inward parts, man. He's going to program us to be righteous um, forever, causing us to have a everlasting uh, kingdom and rulership, you know. And you, you heathens are going to be brought back to where you're, you properly belong. And he saw you're only going to be in slavery for a thousand years. And then don't worry, you're going to be um, totally annihilated. Totally, totally annihilated. Did I say that right? Annihilated. Annihilated. The water. And, um, you know, that's it for you. All right? And we're going to fuck you up. Best believe that. It's going to be a hard thousand years. It's going to be long, strong, and drawn out. So with that, we're going to go ahead and close out. Give him, uh, once again, giving all praise to Yahweh. By Hashem. Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders. And shalom to your brothers preaching this word in sincerity and truth. All right. A Bob, a ball. Death to America. Okay. You know. And man, death to these fallouts. Death to you bitch ass niggas. Death to you, Tracy. All right. And man, death to the nigga woman. Death to the nigga bitch. Yeah, death to the nigga woman. Shalom. Shalom.